Okay, this is uh, Duncan Fall, and uh, this is uh, tutorial booklet six for advanced uh, flexing 2020. It's the, uh, this is a, um, a redo of this video because uh, uh, I noticed that uh, 2020's had a little bit of an update, so I thought it'd be kind of nice to see what the updates are. So I uh, I haven't gone through this tutorial as much uh, with the new version, so I have to bear with me. I've turned around a little bit for things that have moved. So, uh, what's, what we're going to do today is I'm going to look at uh, developing a little project that uh, has uh, some testing stations, and we're going to put uh, different loadings uh, on each one. So, testing station one, two, three, four, five. Um, let's just go back to the description. So um, I got an interval time. Uh, there are two te uh, testers for component one and three testers for component two. Components go to the first available tester. So, um, so hopefully we'll get this uh, done. It's not a particularly challenging model to do. It's more or all to do with the setups. So obviously we're going to use the A key to set everything up. Again, remember it's directional. Uh, this is the um, the source setup, and uh, center. Uh, this is the uh, pull. We're going to use the pull strategy on this one, which is a new thing we uh, uh, introduced. So let's go to flexim. Let's start a new model. Um, Three minutes. Say so, okay. Let's quickly put our objects in the scenes. So we've got a source queue uh, process of one. Uh, you can hold the F key down. Let's see what's happening. My cursor's changing, and it will copy the or. Uh, the last object that you'd selected, so it's a quick way of doing things. Um, and then we'll have another queue and then a sync. Let's join them together. Uh, another little shortcut that you could use is if you hold the uh, shift key and drag it all the way around, you go red, and if you get an A, do it to processor one. Just them all and then process one to the queue. What you've got to do now is hold the shift key to the side and just drag a little bit and it switches all those connections off as so not connections, the fact that they're red boxes and then uh, to the sink. Okay, uh, let's uh, change these names so you can click on it and it's the new box window or just click on there once. And uh, let's call this uh, testing test station component one. I'm going to copy that and go to the next one and call this uh, test station two component one. And now let's go to the next one. And this is uh, going to look after component two and it's testing station three. Could just copy that. Change. Oop. Sorry about that. Let's click on that. And this is testing station four, looking after component uh, two. And Finally, testing station five. Okay, so rename them. Try and give your uh, your models good names. Uh, let's look at the source now. So it's double click or stay there. Um, and this as a statistical distribution. So it's a statistical distribution and we're going to give it a um, uniform and it's going to be uh, minimum 120 uh, maximum 150 
and a stream you can leave it as that or put two in to get a little, little bit more randomness or not more randomness uh, it takes it from a different stream the random variable and you can see that the, um, the graph underneath is, uh, is updated okay Okay, um, let's go back to the source and look at triggers. There's triggers, here we go. And we want uh, on creation. And this, oops, sorry. And we're going to, um, sorry, let's go back to source. Click on there. So we're going to do, um, and depending on what version of Flex I'm using, you'll see label and item type and stuff. So um, I'm going to say um, the set label, set type, and I'm going to give it a uh, statistical distribution. Uh, ben Newley, there we are. Newly, and let's use forty one and then two. Okay. Let's click on that and let's add another trigger and do on exit. So you've got a lot of options on the trigger. So uh, this is an on exit now uh, and we're going to set um, a look. Visual uh, set. Um, where, where they put in it now? So, uh, there we go. So we can put other things in here. So we can actually set item type and color in here. And let's change that to two. So we've set on creation how we want to uh, objects to to. Um, to be generated and um, I think I've typed that in wrong let's have a look 40 there we go and, and this is how, uh, going to be the different colors so we're going to get two two objects uh, item types one and two uh, what we could do is just maybe run this just make sure we've done that correctly just get some coming through Actually, we could just do step. So we've got one object there. It's red, and it's an item type one. Let's go through. Let's get, see if we can get another color somewhere. I've got a green item type two, and I've got a red. Uh, so I'll click on it. Yeah, uh, they're always going to testing station one at the moment, probably because this is defaulted to first available, and testing station one's always first available. Oh, um, what we need to do is just checking things. Uh, 
on testing session one we're going to use the pull strategy so we've got the pull we want it to pull from any port it's only got one port coming in anyway so it doesn't really matter uh, but it's going to pull from uh, the queue and then we need to tell it what to do and we're going to do it as specific by the label the label is called type and we only want to pull type one so if we repeat that here um, uh, so yeah, uh, let's just go back. So it's any port. So uh, just scroll down. Going in the wrong place. Too many windows open. Okay, so got the pull strategy, any port, and then we're going to buy label, and it's defaulted to one. Uh, this one, uh, input, pull strategy, any port, uh, label, specific label, and we want two, a green box, and input, strategy label two input pull strategy specific label two so if we reset and run actually I'm going to step so we can see there's a red box appeared here that should be um, uh, label type one, uh, and it is. So let's go through. So it's doing its process. And we've got a green box here, and this should be uh, component two. So it is a red box up there, and it's a one, green, and so forth. So Maybe what we need to do is increase the uh, uh, the process time to get more of these because uh, because uh, testing station two, three, and four um, are not being used because uh, th th there's no demand for them. It's probably because the interarrival time is so high. Um, so what we could do maybe is reduce that. So we'll come put it down to um, let's change it just to uh, make it. Let's do an exponential. Thirty. See if that makes it run a little bit. I'm not sure it will. Uh, let's have a sort of look so we can force the issue. Oh, not getting used to this side menu at the moment, so uh, um, so the processor. It's currently set to 10. Let's change them to uh, 30 as well, just to hopefully force the issue so you can see it properly working, the model. Hopefully that will show us Uh, working a little bit better. Yeah, so some are going on to the reds going on here when the greens come. Well, looks like five is not getting overworked at the moment. But you can see what we've done is basically uh, this tutorial is all around this uh, uh, pull strategy, pulling from any port because all each one of these processes are only pulling from. 
um, the queue anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And then we've specified that we want to use the type. We've defined that um, in here, uh, in the um, set label to type and to of. Uh, so it's pulling the word type and then number one or two. One goes to testing stage three, four, and five, and uh, type one goes to testing stage one and two. Okay, uh, hopefully that was useful to you guys. Uh, thanks a lot.